As PHP coders, we've all had the problem with a white screen of death. You know, when PHP doesn't give you an error message, just a blank white screen. This can happen when you use a colon instead of a semicolon, or the other way around. This white screen can also happen when a function is redeclared. I'm going to show you the two fastest ways to find a single bad character in over 2,000 lines of code. This works with any language, not just PHP. This works even if you don't have access to the PHP any file. First, we'll go over the 50% method, which requires commenting out half the code, which is easy, assuming the indentation is good. If it is not good, send the code to the developer who wrote it and make them deal with it. If you wrote the code with bad indentation, flog yourself 10 times with a keyboard. Then fix your indentation before you search for the white screen of death bug. All right, back to how to do the 50% method. First, you comment out half the code. If the white screen persists, then you know the problem is in the half that remains. If the page works, then the problem is in the half that you commented out. Once you know which half of the code works, uncomment out half of the code you know the bug is in. This will determine which half the bug is in of the remaining code. Then you repeat. Keep breaking the code in half until you find the few lines of the code that the bug is, must be in. You can narrow down the lines of code extremely fast this way. Half of 2000 is 1000, half of that is 500, then 250, 125, 62, 31, 15, 8, 4, 2. In 10 steps, you narrowed down 2000 lines of code to 2 lines of code. In 11 steps, you can do that with 4000 lines of code. In 12 steps, 8,000 lines of code. With this method, you can narrow down 100,000 lines of code to two lines in 19 steps. And here is the even faster method. I'm not sure this works in all versions of PHP, but in 7.2, you will get a white screen of death if you're calling the page directly. However, if you make a tiny page that requires the page with the bug in it, then it will show you the exact line number and error. Mind-blowing! I hope this helped. If so, like and subscribe for more on the business of programming.